change your life I could show you many reasons Different seasons Hop in my back and I stay in it Hit from the back and I stay in it He is not damn, don't play with her She is not damn, don't play with her I got a R-O-D She got a P and C Baby girl, you know you was made for me Hop in my back and I stay in it Hit from the back and I stay in it She is not damn, don't play with her She is not damn, don't play with her I got a R-O-D She got a P and C Baby girl, you know It up, then lay in it. Let's go again, you okay with it? I'm parked up, valeting it Shoot my shot and I'm draining it I'm Steph Curry ain't claim this I don't know what you cost, but I'm paying it All options, I'm weighing it If I'm going in, I'm staying in A king bag, come laying it Day and night, it's the way of life I'll weigh you out, then take you out To the Waffle House for some steak and eggs Pulling up, then we hopping out Got you walking out with the Waffle legs Wait, girl, and I peeped you looking like a baddie You a diva Pretty face, caramel skin like a Leah Saw that fatty poking from the back like Serena So let me see some Hop in my back and I stay in it Hit from the back and I stay in it He is not damn, don't play with her She is not damn, don't play with her I got a R-O-D She got a P and C Baby girl, you know you was made for me Hop in my back and I stay in it Hit from the back and I stay in it So this is the picture that's gonna be replaced by the one we just DIY so I'm going to go ahead and take this one down, and then this one is going to go upstairs in the bathroom. And I think I might want to recreate this one for upstairs, too. Yeah. So let's swap it out. And here is how it looks hanging up. So let me show you up close. I added some... Uh, what I say? Broken glass. Broken glass. It was actually broken glass mixed with glitter. As you can see. Little pieces of broken glass. And then the glitter. Well, look at the quality of this new camera. What you think about that? We got to cover up the holes from the last picture. I don't like that at all. And I painted the frame black. Let me show you the frame. It's black to match with these. A little bit of gold on these, which I put some gold on here. And I love how this looks so much better and brighter. That looks really good. You see this camera quality? See that? Mm, have a good day. And here's where this one is going to go. Um, <clears throat> so, as you can see, this one is square. More of a box. And so, this space is more like a box shape, too, in the bathroom. So I think this one will look better here and the other one that's down there now looks better downstairs. Ouch. Good morning, family. Welcome back to another video. Um, This is probably not the best lighting. Um, Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. Is that better? God, it's painful for me, but it's probably good for you. You can see me. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great day today. Whatever day you're watching. Um, I have not been in the best filming way, um, you guys, because I literally cannot freaking see. Um, and I have made me a doctor's appointment eye doctor's appointment but because it's not an emergency ugh, I'm not going to be seen until next week or the week after actually but had I known if I had said some trigger words like accompanied with severe headache um, dizziness 
yada, yada, yada. It would have been seen more as an emergency, but I didn't want to fudge the truth a little bit. Because I didn't want to, you know, speak something into existence that's not really happening. I literally can't see. And it's getting worse. So it started out with just blurred vision in this eye. And a lot of you guys told me on the live because I thought it was a sty, which I can still feel the little bump underneath the eyelid. I can still feel it. It's very scratchy-ish. And so it went from just blurred vision in this one eye here to now the good eye. Basically, I'm seeing doubles and triples of everything, okay? And it's, the light is making it worse, makes it worse. I can't freaking drive because it looks like I'm, it's four lanes. <laughs> really, it's just a road coming out of here. It's just a road, but it looks like it's four freaking lanes. Um, and the light makes it hurt even more. And it's so scratchy. And so dry, I can't look at TV because I see four of everything on the screen. It's, this is the worst. But I have made me an appointment. The um, hot compresses makes it feel good in the moment. It doesn't help with the actual vision, though. But it feels good. You know what I mean? And I even have these drops not helping. Just, it's, I'm, I'm getting, and see, here's the thing, because my brain is trying to figure out what is going on when I'm trying to look at something, it causes me to get super anxious, like panicky almost. Oh my God, this is the worst. So I haven't really been feeling like filming or getting on camera or, this is the worst. I don't know how it looks to you. I don't even, I see three of me right now. I see me here. I see one right here and I see one right here of myself. This is, oh God, I hate this. I hate it. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. I hope, um, oh, we're supposed to get more bad weather tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow, what's today? Today's Wednesday while I'm filming this video. So we're supposed to get bad weather, snow and rain mix tomorrow and Friday. I think a 70% chance of it. So that's neither here nor there. Pay no attention to all this I got going on over here on my uh, <laughs> nightstand. It's a whole thing happening here. So let me know down in the comments. Did you guys enjoy the uh, paint with me? Actually, that was supposed to have went on. The other channel. But I said you know what. Let me just do a fresh. Start to finish. DIY. Over on the other channel. So I just decided to add that into this chit chat. With you guys. To say hey how you doing. And put it up on this channel. But just stay tuned for the DIY. It's going to be coming up on that channel. Maybe I'll take the next couple days. To try to do that. Um, at least it'll take my mind off of not being able to really see. And that's really all I have to tell you guys. Is uh, I do have an appointment. Um, so that I can figure out what's going on with this damn vision. And let me tell you guys. For those of you that caught the last impromptu live I done, right? So let me just be real honest and transparent with y'all. Um, so I'm on the live with y'all. We having a good time. We ain't really talking about nothing, but nonetheless, it was still <laughs> fun, right? Toward the end of that live, I started to feel really weird, okay? And I didn't want to say anything in the live, which is kind of how the live ended so abruptly. And if you watch that live, Toward the end of getting off, like right before I ended the live, I said, let me go get me a water. I got up and we didn't have any water downstairs, but we got water up here in this fridge, right? Because I 
instantly felt like I was going to pass out on the live. Like I felt myself getting faint, right? And so I started getting thirsty. The same, you guys, <laughs> the same symptoms with the nail salon. The same feeling that I felt with every nail salon situation that I chalked up to be, I just wasn't liking my nails, okay? I started feeling like I was going to pass out on the live. I started, I got super dry mouthed, right? Um, And just disoriented, like all of a sudden, right? I end the live, I come up here with Ron and I tell him, Babe, I'm feeling weird. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying not to panic. <laughs> Once again, the same exact feeling. So as I'm sitting here telling him how I was feeling physically, I said, because I could feel my, um, like my hands felt weird, right? In that moment of me sitting here, right where I'm at now, he's over there, and I'm telling him how I feel. So he's sitting up, he's attentive, like, okay, so just, you know, talk me through what's going on, what you, you know, what you feeling. So as I'm telling him how I'm feeling, I could feel my hands feeling really weird, right? And so I said, like, how does my hands feel to you? So he touches my hands, and he said they feel wet, like clammy. Right, so I, I started to touch all over. I said, "Well, do I feel clammy?" So he was like, "No, not really. Just your hands do. Real sweaty, wet, moist." Ugh. Um, and so I said, just instantly, I said, "I wonder if my blood sugar is low, like." I don't know. That just popped in my head. And so he said, well, if it is, you need something sweet. So let's just see. Right. And he was like, do you want to go to the hospital? Like, what do you want to do? Y'all know I'm anti-hospital. I'm so anti-hospital. I'm anti-doctors. But I tell y'all, I, I listen to my body because I know my body. I'm with this body all day, every day. And so he ran downstairs and got me a big glass of orange juice which I drank, and these chocolates that are still here, too. I ate a few squares of these chocolates and the orange juice. And in about 10 minutes of just sitting here after I drank the orange juice, ate the chocolates, I could physically feel whatever was going on changing. Like, my body was starting to, I don't know, come to life. Like, I felt like, I don't really know how to really explain it other than I felt anxious. I, my mouth was super dry. I just felt like I was going to pass out, disoriented, just kind of like stumbling over my words, feeling like I was looking like something was wrong, but probably wasn't really, though. Um, and then the clammy hands. So, I drank the, the juice and... The, 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 the chocolates. And I instantly started feeling like I was coming back to life. And f haven't had a situation like that since. Now, I will say, when I go back and think about it, all those mornings with the nail salon, the morning I went live, I didn't eat breakfast. Didn't eat a piece of bread, nothing. So, I don't know, which that's my next appointment. Um, to see if there's something going on with my blood sugars. Like, am I pre-diabetic? Am I diabetic? Like, what is going on with this body? Listen, <laughs> she about to be 48 in two months, okay? If I live to see it, I'll be 48. Ain't nobody got time for this. <laughs> Nobody's got time for the falling apart of the body, sis. Like, no, absolutely not. I will not, I do not receive that. I <laughs> just don't. I don't, y'all. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with y'all. Fret not. Sis is going to go get it all checked out because, listen, I need to be here to tell the story. I got to be here to tell the story. 
Anyway, listen, y'all, doctors, nurses, don't y'all get down in them comments now. I'm not asking y'all for no more advice. I'm going to go get it from the real people, okay? First the eye, get the eye checked out. Then I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and set the appointment up now, though. Just to have some blood work done so I can just see, like, is this what's going on? Like, what's going on with you? Um, I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to take care of it. Yeah, just saying doubles and triples is the worst, though. Like, oh, my God. Anyway, listen, I love you guys. To the morning back. Sis going to see you in the next video, either here on this channel or here on the other channel. One of the two, honey. I don't know. But y'all just stay tuned. And um, hugs and kisses. Mwah. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.